What is up guys? This is your IT Ranger and today I'm excited about showing you guys your 15th Java tutorial. Today what are, we're going to be talking about four statements and what a four statement is, it's a count controlled statement. So basically it counts number, it counts something and then while and while four for the counter is bleh. let me start over let me just show you guys what it is versus just trying to tell you because I'll probably get you guys confused so let me just show you guys what a for statement is um so today we're making a program and we want this program to basically display the sum of integers uh, between a starting value and an ending an ending value and what we want to do is we want to use a designated increment and what that increment is basically the increment is going to increase the number by how much the increment is so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing we want to do is we want to make our variables and for this program we're going to have four different well five different variables and the first one is going to be all of them are going to be int integers so let's go do an int and then we're going to have our counter comma then we're going to have our sum comma and then we're going to have our starting value and then we're going to have our ending value and our increment and end it all right so there we just um inflated our variables we have integers we have five different integer variables and the next thing we want to do is we need to make these equal to um a number so our starting value we want that value to start at 10. so let's go ahead and do starting value and it's going to be equal to 10 because we wanted to start at 10. and then we're going to have our ending value end at 100. Let's have it end at 100 and let's kind of make a space between these two just to show you guys how to comment and we are inflating well we are making our starting and ending numbers all right just to simple that out for you guys make it a little simpler and we want our increment we want our increment to be seven so we want the number to increase by seven or the increment to increase by seven each time so let's go and do increment equals seven it's going to be our increment so now let's go ahead and make our sum equal to zero because we want our sum to equal zero while the program is just starting because if we have it equal to like a number then the program will be incorrect because it would add that number instead of counting from zero so we have all our variables and we have all our variables instantiated and equal to a number that we want so now what we need to do is now it's time to actually uh, import our for statement so what we need to do is we need to do for and this is our for statement and let's do for and basically what this for statement is going to do is it's basically going to um, it, com it, com it combines a like a counter um, it's like a counter and what the counter does is you have the counter initialization which basically tells you where to start from and then you have your condition test which is going to be uh, basically like a test to see if the counter is equal to the test and then you're going to have your update into a single expression and the update for our program is going to be our increment so just to show you guys what it looks like in Java and how and kind of make it simpler let's go ahead and do four and then we're going to have let's have our counter first let's have our counter our counter is going to be equal to our starting value for now our counter is going to be equal to our starting value and let's go ahead and end that with a semicolon and next thing we need to do is we need to do our make our center or our counter sorry equal to or well it's like less than or equal to our ending value oh, it messed me up ending value I spell this wrong center counter I didn't alright so 
Let's backspace this and let's do so this counter is less than or equal to our ending value all right so now let's go ahead and put our semicolon there and let's end that and the next thing we need to do is we need to have our counter to increase increase by one by our increment so basically what it's going to do here is the counter is now equal to while the counter is equal to the starting value which is 10 then we wanted to test and see if the counter is equal to the ending value which is 100 and wanted to and if it's less than 100 then we wanted to increase by 7 which is our increment here all right so let's go ahead and end the for statement let's put our brace and enter all right so now what we're going to do is we actually we actually don't really need our brace here let's get rid of our braces we can do it our curly braces all right so now what we want to do is we want to have our sum to increase or equal whatever the counter is as of now so now what we need to do is we need to have our sum plus equals and remember what the plus equal is the plus equal basically means we want the sum to equal whatever the sum plus the counter is and it's basically a easier way of saying sum equals sum plus counter it's basically an easier way of doing it that way so and it just saves you some time from typing out the whole statement so you can do sum plus equals counter and this is now going to set the sum which is zero to whatever the counter is once it increases by the increment so now we have sum plus equals center which is sum equals the sum plus center or counter I don't know why I keep saying center every time I, every time I, I make that um, I make the center like that I always make I always say center instead of their counter so uh, maybe next time I just need to make counter because I always say center and you guys are like why do you keep saying center but alright anyway let's keep going so um, now what we need to do is we want the system to display to the user what that number is every time it increases so we basically wanted to add the numbers that between the starting value and the ending value and you'll see what I mean in just a second so now let's do system dot out dot print line and let's have the print line to sum because we want that sum right there to equal um, the, the counter and then we want the user to actually see what the sum is not the counter so there we go so let's go ahead and run this program all right and you see there our number is 676 so basically what it did is it added every number between 10 and 100 and the total of each number between 10 and 100 is 676 that's the total for each number let's run it again just to show you guys the number we get the same number each time let's run it again and there it is 676 so what the program did is it said four or it counted while the counter is equal to the starting value or 10 then we want the counter we want to test and see if the counter is less than or equal to 100 which is the ending value and if it is less than 100 then we want to increase it by the increment of 7 and that's what we did here so we did the center equals the center blah, blah, blah. we did the counter equals the counter plus the increment which is 7 so and then what we did is we had our sum to equal whatever the the center the counter is all right and then we had the system to display the sum to the user and to give them how much the the number would be um between how much num each number is between 10 and 100 added together and the total is 676 so there you go guys this is your 15 java tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel and watch some of my other um, tutorials my latest java tutorials too and i'll catch you guys next time